Today on the channel, we got something entirely different as my wife Angie joins us as we've got Coke Oreos and Oreo Coke. And the spirit of Ultimate Warrior will run forever! here back again with a special guest my wife Angie and you say hello hello today we're here for something entirely different I said let's do a video on this Angie as Angie you went to the grocery store yesterday can you confirm that yes and what did you pick up some Oreos some some Oreos okay oh, Oreos with coke flavored Oreos and not that kind of coke get your head out of the gutter but it's coke flavored Oreo she also picked up Oreo flavored Coke, which is very, very strange. And as you know, as many other know, I'm not just uh, one class away from a minor in film. I'm kind of a uh, bread Jesus in some instances, as known in some circles as uh, the Jesus of bread, of mm -hmm. course. But I'm also a grocery industry legend. I think we could go that far. 30 years in the grocery game. I've seen it all. I've been there. I've been on both sides of the coin. I've been a vendor. I've worked for grocery stores. I've done it all. I've really done it all. I'm truly a renaissance man. Would you agree on that? Yeah, I guess. I guess. And how about you? What is your grocery experience? You've you've been around a grocery store a time or two. You've shopped and you've helped before. You've, you've passed the torch to me on I've the front line. I've passed the torch. And Angie had to help me with a major <laughs> issue on vacation last week. Angie even helped me deliver the goods like a young Judas priest on mm -hmm. vacation. Got to step up. You got to help the customer at the end of the day. Or the consumer, either or. But we're here today to sample these for the first time ever. Neither of us have had these, correct, Angie? Correct. You've had regular Oreos, you've had regular Coke, yes. as have I. And of course, you like Coke and you like regular Oreos. Yes. You like them both good enough. You don't drink a lot of Coke, but you'll dabble. Dabble <laughs> on a rare instance here. We're me, I'm doing uh, lines of Coke left and right every single day, every of day. course, as we know. I'm drinking a lot of Coke, but Oreos and I, uh, story time, are you ready for this? You're going to okay. stand in for this? This could get a little wordy here, but of course, at one time, young Kyle, yes, back in the day, did work for Nabisco, of course, the parent company of Oreo, and then, of course, later on, bought by Kraft, then, of course, Mondelez after that, so I've been through the cookie aisle, I've been through the cookie wars, I've launched a heck of a lot of Oreos in my day for the Midwest. I know a thing or two about Oreos, and I saw the rise of Oreo, and I got to give Oreo and Nabisco, aka, of course, Mondelez, their flowers here, because what they do is, and it's a great business strategy, and this all relates into action figures a lot as well, limited edition stuff. There's millions of limited edition Oreos. You see them. You see Halloween Oreos. You see Gummy Saver Oreos. You see every single Oreo under the sun out there at retail, and they know, hey, everybody's going to try them one time. They might not like them. They may be the hottest of hot garbage, but everybody will try them once, and then we'll bring out a different flavor and move it. And then some of those flavors do stick around, usually get a second or third turn, but usually by then, they've worn out their welcome, and they're done forever. So kudos to the Mondelez Group doing this, and we've seen Frito-Lay. We've seen many other companies have the same strategy on a re recycling basis. Let's get out something new. The customer will try it once, move on to something new, a new flavor. So kudos to them, and I would say for the most part, for me, Oreos over the years, I'm not a big Oreo guy. I liked them enough, but when I started working for the company, I had Oreos in my face all the time. And I tried every single new Oreo there was. I would always try just one and move on. Uh, it's one of those things, oh, you work for Oreo, you probably get all the Oreos you want. Yeah, that's not always a good thing. And I really <laughs> burned myself out of Oreos over the years. So I don't really even eat Oreos. When we have them in the house, it's usually you and the girls that'll dabble through the Oreos. Just doesn't do anything for me. And uh, I'm more of like a beef jerky guy. I need a beef jerky sponsorship. I need some beef jerky in my life. Life. something about that jerky that sweet sweet meat you know what i'm talking about uh but the beef jerky absolutely delicious uh but moving back to oreos here i've tried them all i have never had these very interested to see how these do taste and we're gonna give it the old one two barbecue taste test here today mm -hmm. did angie you, did you plan to match that out the i know it kind of looks like that the black and red going on here <laughs> we're kind of worked on just uh, naturally here but do you have any thoughts on oreo and i guess any thoughts you have on oreos and then angie what is your favorite oreo of all time um, well, I'm going to be building a display of these tomorrow. Oh, <laughs> there you go. So I'm a mint girl. Oh, mint. You Which like a little bit. Reversed. She likes the mint. Good for her. Now mint for, thin. so for me, my favorite Oreo of all time, and they don't have them. They were one of the first ever limited edition ones that came out. 
I want to say it was 2007, dating myself here, dating myself. Uh, but they were the strawberry cream Oreos. They were like double stuffed strawberry cream. They were absolutely amazing. Those were my favorite. They came out a few times. They have since stopped making those is what it is. And uh, going back to grocery and a little bit business hat here, one thing the Oreo brand has done an amazing job at, these uh, limited edition flavors are a much smaller package. However, they have the same price as the regular package Oreo, or in some instances, even more money. That's because the consumer's willing to pay that to try them. Very good uh, work on the Mondelez team uh, marketing these, getting people to pay extra money for less product. So got to give them a shout out right there. But Coke is Coke. I don't know about Coke so much in Oreos. It is a partnership. Of course, all these companies like to team up and do that kind of thing. It gets more eyes on the product. Coke user buys the Oreo. Oreo buys their user buys the Coke. It's all that marketing there. So a little business 101 here before we get into this review. It's just a deep channel here. And truly a renaissance man. An old Pippi Long stocking here. She's had enough. She's going to hang herself with that braid. But Angie, I'll let you open this one up. How okay. about? And while you open that, we got these little Cokes. Go for it. Open. I was going to say. So now, I should oh. Have, I should have mentioned that they only come with the zero sugar. Okay, I was going to say. So it looks like zero sugar here. Is that Whoa. the only way? It's wafting. What is it? I can't really smell. My smellers just doesn't work very well, That's but I'm going to try. Instantly. I can smell something. What do you smell? What do you smell? Coke? I don't know what I, I don't know what it smells like. She's got some of that white line fever in here is what's going on with all that Coke. I don't know. So interesting, but go back to these real quick. Coke Zero, not regular Coke, but Angie, do they have these in regular cans or only small cans? Oh, only small and only zero sugar, I think. Okay, zero, cal it. zero calories on this one here. So I'm going to give you this can. Do we try the Oreo drink first or the cookie first? I feel like the cookie. I, mean, I feel like the drink. I feel well, like the drink because it could skew it. It could. So we're going to try it. Pop yours open. Don't <laughs> spill on the table. This table, it's seen some things. And we're going to try this. Ooh, so I got now, allergies. Now. now, Angie, give it a sniff and see what you think. Mm -hmm. I don't smell anything. I can't smell, though. So it, it's, a, it's a curse and a blessing at the same time. I can smell like the. All right, we're gonna fake get. Smell. We're gonna give it a little sip, a little taste, and Angie, you're gonna go first. I am. Tell us what you think. Nope. Not for me, dog. <laughs> Not for me. Dog. Not for me. So at first, it tastes a little coke-like, and here I am going first. It tastes a little coke-like. It's very uh, bubbly, I will say carbonated mm -hmm. but you can really taste that oreo cream flavor on the back end and it doesn't taste as good as the oreo cream i didn't even need more drinks i'm done i already know i don't like yeah this. i mean you can taste the cream it kind of gives like a is it vanilla kind of yeah Chocolate i think vanilla. it tastes absolutely like hot garbage hot garbage in well a and we don't really love well you don't re love the zero sugar either so that that uh, skews it too because i'm it okay gives it... I, I don't mind the zero sugar i prefer regular coke give me the full throttle you know i oh big boy i can take it it's not bad. I hate it. I absolutely hate it. I think it's That's one of the worst. I, I want my money back. Can we get my money back? Can we say this is hot garbage in a can? I don't think it's good. So I'm sure the kids will drink it. They'll think it's neat. It's all kind of stuff. But for me, no. Nah, no, nah, I'd rather take a regular Coke all day. So I didn't like that. So you would drink it again? You would buy no. this? You would never. Just no. one and done. You're done. Yeah. yeah. Like I wouldn't dump it on the sink. No. But. Okay. Well, you got another one to finish over here. But now we got the cookies <laughs> here. So an interesting one. Now, first thing mm -hmm. I noticed, you got red on one side, black on the other, cream in the middle. It's cute. And the Coke. Um, oh, gosh. Oh, well, yeah. You got Coke. There you go. You got Coke on there on one side, Oreo on the other side. So look it's at that. It's falling apart. They're not, well, don't uh, get crumbs on the table, whatever you do. Usually I would. I'm going to take your. Use some muscle to peel the Take your drink cream apart. Over here. Because it's going to get messy just, right here. These are just slipping and sliding. So we're going to try this, and uh, I'm not hoping for the best it's on It's funny, these it days. doesn't want to grip to the red side. Hmm. It knows it's foreign. Hmm. It's full of that red 40 <laughs> or whatever it's called. <laughs> I don't know. All right, Angie, yeah. let's, let's, try, let's try this. See what we got. See what all the fuss is about. Supposedly it's got popping candy inside. Oh, yeah. I was like, what's gritty about it? That's what it is. Hmm. So it is a double stuff. I could tell. And I'm already breaking the rules spilling here on the table. It is a double stuff. So a little bit more cream. Cream, my least favorite part of the Oreos. Most people like the cream. I like the cookie part better myself. The cream is like much softer than a regular Oreo. It's a softer cream. It's almost cream. like an icing. Like you can, you can smash it very Good call. easily. It's almost like an icing. Mm -hmm. And it's got a little bit of like the Pop Rocks candy it in the middle. It could be the Pop Rocks that's altering the... Very soft and smooth. This is good. 
The, uh, the chocolate part obviously tastes like a regular or a cookie. I'm not sure what this red tastes like yet. I don't know. We should almost like try it. It's, it's weird. You know, it's also a no for me, dog. <laughs> How many booms would you give it? I wonder if the Costco crew was here. They'd be giving it, give it the boom. That's what they would do. We need to get Big Justice and AJ over here, man. They know how to do a review. Give them a chicken bake all day. <laughs> what do you think? Any thoughts on this? It's like one of those things that has a taste you know, but you can't pinpoint it, which I hate. I don't really taste a Coke flavor with this at all. <laughs> no, I don't. It kind of tastes like a knockoff Coke flavor. I don't even taste any of that. I like taste... if you get like, not Dr. Thunder, what's the Coke one? I taste the cream. I taste the Pop Rock things. I don't know. I, don't For, know to think. I think these are like $30 a bag too, weren't they? Four eighty eight. Oh, four eighty eight. Same Whoa. price as the full size or family size. Final verdict, Angie. What do you think? I don't know what to think about it. As usual with these limited in and out snacks, I say I'm happy I just tried it one time. We we'll never try it again. There's very few <laughs> I would go back for again in the future. This is one, and I like regular Coke. This ain't for me. I do prefer the cookie over the drink. I'm sure you're. Of like mind on that. Let me have, let me wash down this cookie. <laughs> you like the drink more or the crummy. cookie more? Oh god, that's weird. Now that you taste the cookie, this is I, this is grosser, more gross. Hmm. Try that after having the cookie in your mouth. It gets really weird after taste. <laughs> no, it's gross. Yeah, it's just it's not worth trying. That's what I'm gonna say. I give Mondelez and Coke credit. You got a constant learning, constant improvement, and new items. That's what drives business. Across the board, 85% of new items do fail in the grocery industry, but people try them at least once. They make a decision. Mm -hmm. So important to get these things out to the consumer. Let the consumer be the judge here, and you never know. If it was going off like gangbusters, it could be a permanent item. I don't see this one. If I had to go back to the old Kyle Rolodex, the old business hat when I was at Mondelez, I'd say it's good for an in and out and that's all it's going to be. It's not going to be sticking around once people give it a try. A time or two there. So. It looks good on the shelf, though. It's good timing with Be the Beetlejuice movie coming out and Halloween. Yeah. It looks sharp on a display with the black and white. But Yeah. They'll sell. They'll, yeah. they'll be gone. They'll get rid of it. It'll be gone. And then there'll be the those people, you got to get that Coke stuff left. And they'll say, no, go around <laughs> to the drug dealer around the back of the store. That's what they'll say. So there it is. Oreo Coke. Thumbs down for me. Oreo Coke. Thumbs down for me. Thumbs down for Angie. Mm -hmm. Give me the plain Jane every single day. But worth okay. a try. We'll worth a try. Ponytail. What you got? Look at that thing. You're like a young <laughs> Bianca Belair. You're going to start whipping people I'm with like it, a I think. Timu Laura Croft. <laughs> there you go. Well, just show me later. All right. <laughs> so there it is. Angie, thank you for joining me on this video. I don't know if we'll ever do another one of these again. There's a lot of items I could do. And, we you really know, should. Taste tests. I get... A lot of stuff being in the grocery industry i get a lot of stuff that's a year out before it's like it's mm -hmm. hot off the kitchen where they say hey give this your try what do you think so i can't really say that stuff though legalities and all you can't really it's just mean to especially if it's good yeah i can't be talking about that stuff mm -hmm. but i guess there is other brands and stuff outside of my own that i could be showing the wares on and we could do we'll see what happens we'll see what happens but angie <laughs> thank you for joining me thank you for changing the world with one simple taste test it was great having you back here on the channel <laughs> I'm making a lot of debuts. There you go. So there it is. So for Angie, my wife, myself, Kyle, till next time. <laughs> See you guys all real soon. Keep snacking. Keep snacking. Yeah, there you go. Till next time. Keep <laughs> snacking. That should that seems to be your your sign off. Keep snacking. This Don't is Angie. Snack. Keep snacking. There it is. I did it for you. Oh my God. See you guys all real soon. All right. Woke Emma up from her nap, and she's gonna try the Coke. Oreo and the Oreo Coke. Now, Emma, first a question. You like Coke and you like Oreos, right? Yeah. Do you think you're going to like them together? Mm -hmm. All right. Well, either take a drink or take a bite and let us know what you think. What do you think about it? It doesn't taste like Oreo at all. What's it taste like? Hot garbage? Uh, zero um, sugar Coke. <laughs> you don't taste anything? Nope. Okay, now try the cookie. How many booms would you give it? Tastes like a normal Oreo. 
She doesn't taste any Coke in it. <laughs> this on your pillow. This person wants a bite. <laughs> Who is that? So, Hunter. Emma, Hunter. do you like them or don't like them? I like it because, like, it's, like, they both taste normal. All right, well, it sounds like, like sounds like yours. they're all yours. <laughs> Enjoy. Thanks, Emma.